here at the Murray Center at Rhode Island College. Joining us now, Rhode Island College head women's basketball coach John Costco, myself, Janaya Jones, and Izzy Booth. All right, open up the questions now. Oh, we should have stopped before. Um, well, as the uh, your players just know, it's uh, uh, Mary Schleifman and all on the rebounding end. Um, their coach felt that her presence may have had an effect on your team's floor shooting. Agree, disagree, or not? Uh, yeah, I would say that um, we really struggled to to put the ball in the basket. Uh, I think, you know, I think she definitely has a presence in the paint to alter shots. Uh, or layups weren't falling. Forget our outside shots, but our layups really weren't falling. I think it did alter um, our ability to score. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that you know you start with you. Can you just what does this team mean to you? Uh, this team means everything. Um, I told them in the locker room they made the largest impact that anyone in my life has. Um, just the positivity, the love that they shared, and just the support has been everything. Um, they've been able to put a smile on my face every day, and it's just it's amazing to be able to share every day with them and ironically never get tired of them. Um, same thing, I mean, seeing them in every season through the blood, sweat, and tears, um, it just means a lot to me, their family now, so, um, and I just love every one of them. Um, yeah, it's the, uh, uh, Mary Schlissman notwithstanding, um, if Rick shoots at season averages on field goals and free throws, I think it was a free throw. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the first, especially with the free throw line, she was like about um, 25% or something like that. Um, yeah, 25%, 46%. Four I mean, if you want to put your finger on one thing, that's what she is. Yeah, definitely. That's an emphasis we had all year. Um, I mean, we tried, I mean, we tried our best. Um, we couldn't buy any layups. The free throws were in and out. Um, it just wasn't our day. Coach, obviously this group, this fifth year group means a lot to you. Um, obviously it's sad to lose, but how sad is it, you know, that part of you that it's over for them? Yeah. It hasn't really uh, hit me yet, but this was my uh, second recruiting class. Uh, they're just special kids. I told them this team is uh, definitely the most talented and uh, enjoyable group I've had the pleasure of coaching in my career, even surpassing the team last year. I think it was just different circumstances. Uh, you know, last year we were very proud of everything we did and we still are, you know, I think it's just, it hasn't really hit, you know, we, I don't, I think Washington and Lee was a great team. They they played an excellent game and that was probably our worst shooting game of the year, you know, and uh, it's a game and that's why anybody can win and that's what I tried to tell them. Um, but you don't get at the Chania or an Izzy every day or a Nelly or an Olivia or a Sophia. You don't get those kids. You don't get the experience. You don't get the pleasure of being with them every day, and and kids that really, really want to win a national championship. And so I did tell them that they have raised the standard of this program to a level that everyone will live up to from here on out. Izzy, being from Rhode Island, are you aware of what you did in your time here? You know, seeing the Murray Center back, did you sort of take that in? Um, I think to an extent, yes, but I know. What I've done for the school, for the community, I'm still seeing it, and it's still growing as each day. Um, and for the community of Rick, I love it. Um, especially this year, we've been able to see a huge growth in the community, especially when it comes to athletes and the support we've been able to have, um, and vice versa, that we give and share with other sports. It's been amazing. Um, a lot of them showed up today, which means more than the world to all of us. Um, as to Rhode Island as a whole, I hope they continue to support their local athletes who pursue college athletics, especially in the state. Um, I mean, Maddie, 
has done a great job here as well. And I, would, I love seeing people from Situate coming and being involved. Um, and Olivia, it would just, we're just the start of it. So I hope it continues to grow. After Olivia Mills had hit that basket, you know, it was a 58-55 with 17.7 left. You know, right then it's uh, anybody's ball game. What was the uh, mindset of the team at that point? To get another stop. I think at that point um, we had a foul. Yeah. Um, so that was the main focus, make sure we're getting the foul, no more time was coming off the clock, and it was just defensive stops. Yeah, <laughs> she'd say yeah, yeah. Last thing for me, John, um, well, nothing else. Uh, I think a game like this shows how you can fit the ball into it for anybody who wants to in any sport. Yeah, yeah uh, these guys, I mean, to go undefeated is just, I never really, I knew this team was special, but I didn't think we'd go undefeated. And they've uh, really defined, you know, beat all odds in that sense. Uh, you know, even tonight, like, nothing was really in our favor. Uh, and they just, they just didn't stop. You know, they, they grinded it out to the very end. They made it a game to the very end. So, yeah. Coach, you know, excellence because the people who come out and support you, they sort of the effort tonight to the end. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry for the emotions. Yeah. Thank you.